Welcome to Revit 2026. In this video, we will unveil the most anticipated enhancements designed to supercharge your productivity, elevate your user experience, and enhance your collaboration workflows. Let's dive right into the new core features and capabilities for everyone. Revit 2026 introduces a groundbreaking integration with Recap Pro that changes how you work with reality capture data. The new Recap Pro plugin for Revit enables seamless integration of large point clouds into Revit projects without compromising performance. The plugin allows you to convert point clouds into segmented mesh models using customized local processing. The Recap Mesh Editor allows you to select mesh surfaces and classify them into custom sets of groups and layers. This classification process organizes and refines mesh models before exporting them in various formats, including an optimized Recap Mesh for Revit file. In Revit, linking these data-rich models offers better performance than traditional point clouds. The Add to Document feature imports mesh geometry directly into a Revit project, while the Promote to Family function converts segmented meshes into families. With the new Recap Pro plugin for Revit, you can incorporate accurate representations of physical environments into your project and improve your project deliverables. Another significant milestone is the introduction of the accelerated Revit Graphics Tech Preview, a significant leap forward in visual performance and responsiveness. This technical preview capability leverages advanced graphics technologies, including open source components based on the Universal Scene Description and Hydra to dramatically improve navigation speed in both 3D and 2D views. The improved graphics performance provides a more responsive and fluid modeling environment, offering smoother model inspection, reduced lag, and more enjoyable navigation in large projects. For architects, Revit 2026 introduces significant improvements to toposolids and walls, unlocking better ways to model with greater flexibility and accuracy. Toposolids have been improved with new capabilities. Negative values can now be used for the subdivision offset parameter, allowing you to create recessed elements like sunken roads or pits. You can also apply multiple subdivision types in the same toposolid enabling complex designs without the need for manual splitting or joining. The new boundary constraint algorithm for cut and fill calculations now matches the accuracy of legacy topo surfaces. This improvement leads to more precise earthwork estimate. Boolean operations on topo solids are more stable. Tiny shifts are now applied to void geometry cuts, reducing the likelihood of failures and improving your site modeling experience. Enjoy a superior performance when working with linked topography. This enhancement improves the efficiency of civil 3D surfaces linked to your project via Autodesk Docs, addressing previous compatibility issues and ensuring more accurate translations. Lastly, you can copy and paste slab-shaped sub-elements, including points and split lines, allowing you to expedite the creation of toposolids, floors, and roofs. This year, we introduced the ability to create walls by room boundaries. This method offers two options. You can either select the boundaries of an entire room or pick individual boundary segments. The core layer requirement in compound assemblies is no longer mandatory. You now have the flexibility to delete core layers or move them outside of the core boundary, making it easier to create compound elements without a structural core and improving wall joints. You can also customize the layer priority independently from the function for all compound elements, including walls, floors, roofs, ceilings, and toposolids. You can also enjoy significant enhancements to your documentation workflows. You have more capabilities for precise view placement on sheets and automated positioning, reducing the need for manual adjustments and ensuring consistency in your deliverables. You can now report shared parameters in view family labels, including callout heads, elevation marks, section marks, and view references, providing greater flexibility to include custom data in technical drawings. For structural engineers, Revit 2026 introduces parametric rebar cranking, a feature designed to streamline the modeling of cranked rebar in congested areas. This capability empowers you to easily model and maintain cranked bars, preventing clashes and saving time during revisions. 
new global option in the structural settings lets you remove all setbacks with a single click, ensuring elements are modeled precisely from point to point. This function applies to both existing and newly created steel elements in the model, focusing on model accuracy and usability downstream rather than drawing presentation. HVAC zoning in Revit 2026 has been significantly improved by merging HVAC zone and system zone objects into more versatile and powerful system zone. This enhancement allows zones to be defined by sketch or by space, includes expanded properties, and supports scheduling and color fill schemes. The consolidation reduces confusion between previous zoning objects while combining their benefits. For electrical engineers, Revit 2026 expands support beyond the American Wire Gauge Convention, providing greater flexibility in conductor calculation. Wire type and wire size have been replaced with cable type and cable size, voltage drop has been removed, and additional conductor details have been added. This update better serves users outside the U.S. and allows for more accurate modeling of electrical systems. Several enhancements have been made to MEP fabrication in Revit 2026. Issues with step-downs have been addressed, reducing irregularities in output and ensuring more consistent behavior across all supported patterns. Performance and reliability of MEP fabrication configuration reload time has been improved by approximately 70%, eliminating all known disconnects. The new MEP content editor now includes a preview of connectors providing the ability to inspect geometry before committing to the model. Connector origin and snap points offer greater clarity, improving confidence and efficiency when assigning connectors to parts. Revit 2026 introduces new data management and collaboration capabilities. The Manage Links dialog now reports imported CAD files, providing you with full visibility and control over imported geometry. And with the new IFC link orientations, you can specify the position in a linked IFC file with greater precision. New features are available in coordination models. You now have precise control over what model categories are visible and how they are colored in views. Improvements include hiding and revealing coordination model objects and enhancing communication and collaboration by applying clear visual distinction. These enhancements reduce errors by simplifying the coordination of the work.